yeah, so a high boat's just pulled behind, but I'm, uh, I'm covered in lot jism already. Yeah, a part of it's from just holding your ropes, grabbing your ropes off the wet ground. Some of it's from the windlass, some of it's from the lock. Yeah, so my lovely shower this morning and I'm already covered in jizz. Morning everyone. So the place we're in now is called Willy Moore. Yeah, Moore Willy, Willy Moore. God, who thought of that? I'd love to know the history of where that name's there, Willy Moore. Oh, anyway, we're gonna crack on today and get to Grindley Brook. I'm so immature, I really am. Um, the good thing about Grindley Brook is there's petrol garage there, so I can get some petrol for my generator. There's water, there's bins, there's an Elson facilities, but there's quite a few locks and there's a staircase. But anyway, that's where we're going to go today. <laughs> Come on. And we're off, guys. Yeah, it hammered it down all last night, so everything is very, very moist. So I've got to be careful on them locks today, because I'll be slippy. I've got my walking boots on, so hopefully everything should be all right. So there's a boat just gone up in the lock there. I can see the lock gates dripping. Yeah, so there's one going up and then hopefully, if there's one coming down, that'll be great. But if not, I'll have to reset it. Oh, bloody muddy tote baths everywhere. It's gonna be a moist day today, guys. So a high boat's just pulled behind, but I'm, uh, I'm covered in lot jism already. Yeah, a part of it's from just holding your ropes, grabbing your ropes off the wet ground. Some of it's from the windlass, some of it's from the lock. Yeah, so my lovely shower this morning and I'm already covered in jizz. Into the lock, woo, we're water skiing again, guys. <laughs> I love these by washes. Oh, they make it so much more fun. You on holiday? Yeah. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Yeah? How long are you on it for? Uh, a week. So we get back Saturday or Sunday. Probably. You've been my knights in shining armour today, haven't you? That's Thanks fun. so much, guys. That's really saved me a lot of time. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Them youngsters then come and help me. I was on my roof, yeah, just about to climb up the ladder, and they were like, Do you want any help? I was like, Oh, God, yeah. You must see like a little old lady there jumping on the roof, thinking, Oh, bless. No, I'll take every bit of help I can get, honestly. So I hope I make it to the water point today because I've put my washing machine on and I've put it on a big, hot, long wash. I've got bedding in there, so I hope I get to the water point because I reckon I'll be definitely low by the time I get there. Um, and it, when I cruise in the cold, I always like, a, I know I had a shower this morning, but I always like a nice hot shower when I get in after a day's cruising, especially when you're doing locks because you're covered in all the crap. Yeah, just so yeah, so I want to get to there today. That's my aim. But if it does start hammering it down, I will be mooring up. <laughs> yeah, there's some black clouds up there. Ooh.
So your ropes get covered in all wetness, moist. We call it a wet willy. When you drop your rope in the water or in a puddle, it's called a wet willy. Yeah. And apparently now there's no volunteers on the staircase. Normally I have volunteers here at Grindley Brook, but there aren't any on today. So I've never single-handed a staircase lock before. Shit myself. So there's six locks all together here at Grindley Brook. I've just done one, this is my second one. Then there's a third one and then there's the staircase. Yeah, the staircase doesn't have these pounds in between like these locks do. And these three locks here take us up 19 feet altogether. That's quite a bit of an elevation. And then the staircase takes us up just under 20 feet. So that's like nearly 40 feet we're going up between these locks today. Ooh. Oh, I love a good bye wash. <laughs> So this lovely young man's called Vidian and he's shutting the gate for me. Oh, but we've got three boats ahead of us, so none of us can go anywhere. There's still a boat in the next lock, so I can't really go anywhere. So I'm just going to hover it in this little pound. And then, yeah, but there's a few boats behind as well. So we've got a bit of a queue going on. So yes, this is when we need those volunteers. But we're doing it, we're making do, especially when you've got help from little 12 year olds. It just goes dead well, doesn't it? My boat was moving off a little bit here, so I had to get a jog on and almost gave myself two black eyes. So I'm approaching now the staircase lock. I need to stop and have a read. The top gates of one is the bottom gates of the other. So one lock straight into another lock. So yes, I'm gonna have a read now. <laughs> Make sure I do it right, bloody hell. So there's a boat in there. But I'm gonna do something now. I'm gonna ask for help. Yeah, normally I don't give a shit me, I just get on with it. But with it being a staircase, I'm gonna ask the guys behind if they can just help me up it. Yeah, because I'm not on the boat, I'm not on the controls. So if I get a big surge of water in there, I can't control the boat and do all the locks as well. It's just a bit too complicated. So yeah, so I'm gonna ask if they'll help. So I've got the guys giving me a hand here. So these are the instructions, guys. So the top one needs to be full, the middle one needs to be full, and then the bottom one needs to be empty. Okay. But there's a boat in there at the moment. We'll go and have a look, eh? Oh, you see, I'm down with the kids, guys. Down with the kids. They're cool, you see. Oh, bless them. life in these young men. Oh, so the guy off the other boat behind as well, he's come up to help. Oh, bless them all. So I'm going to moor up at the top of it and give all them a hand as well. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. The boating community is just bloody lovely.
goodness guys, we did it! Oh, staircase lock done, all those locks done. Oh, I need to empty my rubbish, I need to empty my cassettes and I need to fill up with water but I'm just going to moor up here for now because there's loads of water points here and uh, go down there and give them all a hand, a lesson. Oh, guys, I need a run, I need a run. So guys the toilet is emptied i've emptied the bins i'm just filling up with water now i've got myself a rum coffee oh yeah look at the state of me yeah absolutely filthy so guys i'm all moored up at grindley brook yes oh what a day but this is fantastic now because there's a petrol garage just down there in the village so i can jump on my bike tomorrow go and get some petrol post any badge orders because there's a little post box as well i've had a look on my app yeah but this will do now for a few days but wow what a day and it was made special again by lovely people So guys, I'm just walking now to get some fuel, some petrol. Yes, now it's winter, I don't get much solar. So yeah, so that's where we're heading to now. And there's one just not far on along the canal. Yeah, so the reason I'm heading now to get some petrol is for my generator. Now that it's winter, we don't get much solar for the solar panels, which normally charge the batteries. So I tend to put my generator on every two to three days, just for a couple of hours. Now that I've gone hybrid lithium, I don't need to charge them as much as I used to. But my engine is so noisy. Wow. Bop, bop, bop. Especially when you're stationary. But my generator is quite a quiet one. It's a Yamaha one. And the good thing about my Jenny is when I'm connected to my battery charger, it's putting in 60 amps. Whereas my alternator, so just running the engine, I'm only putting in 30 amps. So it's a lot more efficient. So that's the petrol got. <laughs> yeah, and I managed to get some bacon and all. So yeah, bacon butters when I get it back. So guys, I'm back now. I just want to say a big thank you to all those that have been ordering their official merchandise. Yeah, my badges are small ones like this and the big ones, narrowboat pirate ones. <laughs> yeah, for those that have been ordering them into like other countries like America and that, I hope you have received them. I know that Royal Mail at the moment are having a nightmare. We're having loads of strikes. So yeah, but if you've got any problems, just email me on my website because I've got all the proof of postage and I can chase things up, but hopefully you've all got them. I'm currently making up all my Christmas badges. Yeah, loads of naughty ones. <laughs> yes, that's what I've been doing since I got back. But anyway, it's rum time. So do you remember this? This is the bottle I got from Captain Glenn and I'm pouring it into a clear glass so you can see the colour. Look at this, how cool is it? It's purple. Yeah, so cheers. Oh, it's pretty strong, puts hairs on your nipples that. Pretty brilliant. <laughs> So anyway, look at this picture. This is from a young lad called Sam Marshall and he's eight, right? And he did a project in school and he chose the pirate boat. Well, Heidi's boat, he's called it. Yeah, look at it, isn't it great? And look at the little pirate drinking beer. <laughs> Where's he get that from? Oh, I think it's absolutely fabulous. Now I went to university with his dad, Jamie, and they're living now in Australia and he's really into boats because his dad's a sailor. Jamie's parents used to work on all the old boats in the 60s in the Midlands so yes yeah, so it's a bit of heritage 
and Sam's been watching my videos. <laughs> God, a naughty. I set them to over 18s, but he's been watching them. So absolutely fantastic, and I love the drawing. Look at it. Pretty brilliant. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. But before I go, a big shout out to this week's pirate crew. And here they are, me hearties. We've got Andrea, Dean and Charlie, Liz and Jeg, Dave H, Aaron, Charlotte and the kids. Tim, GH and Wiggy from Narrowboat Happy Days, Richard and Helen from Narrowboat Maggie, Fishless Clive, thank you so much Clive, Alan Harbit, Captain Morgan, Murray, Rickefeller, Alan and Dottie from Narrowboat The Nut House, Gary Two Tessies, that sounds rude, I think in testicle there, Mark Grudenberg, Thoughts on Fitness, John and Linda, KP, Christopher, and a massive thank you to Rick Armstrong Wild. Thank you so much guys and also a huge thanks to the patrons. Oh wow, these guys are just fantastic and so supportive so thank you so much to my patrons. Anyway that's it guys for this week so please stay safe, take care and I'll see you next week. So I'm just in my boat here and I've had a care package <laughs> been given to me by, look at, look at this, it's got some lovely little gifts in it, we'll have a look, oh shit. <laughs>